Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then hello. My name is Desiree. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this deep sunset look. So let's just jump right into it. So first things first, I'm going to be applying my Alley Girl Pro Concealer all over my eye. And I'm just going to be using this as a primer. And I'm just making sure that it's nicely spread it out evenly. And yeah. And next, I'm going to be going in with my Smashbox Cover Shop Bold Eye Palette. And I'm going to be grabbing that yellow color. It's called Boat. And I'm just going to be applying that right in the crease of my eye. This yellow color is going to serve as our transition and base. And now, I'm going in with that orange color called Wait What? And I'm just going to be applying that right on top of our transition color. And something that I mentioned in one of my videos is make sure you grab the brush almost towards the end of it. You don't want to grab it too close to the bristles just because you have more control and it'll kind of look kind of patchy when you want to blend it out. If you grab it out towards the end, everything just blends out nicely and much smoother. And I'm just wiping away some of the product and just blending those two colors in together. Now I'm going in with the smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to be grabbing the purple color called No Shame from the same palette. And I'm going to be applying it, not in the crease so much this time, but almost like a little bit underneath the crease. And I'm kind of dab tapping it on where I want it. And then once it's on the places that I want, I'm just going to go in with that bigger blending brush. And I'm just going to blend everything together again. And now jumping into my other palettes, Take Me to Brazil from Beige Cosmetics. I'm grabbing the deep, deep purple. And again, I'm patting it on where I want. This is a little bit underneath my crease. And then I'm just smoothing everything out together. So something you want to do for this eye look is going to be blending. The key to this look is to blend, blend, blend. So that it really looks like a nice sunset. You don't want to see where the colors start, where they begin. So yeah. Now going in with my smudge brush, this is a little bit harder and I'm going in with this pink, deep deep pink color, almost like a neon pink and I'm going to be applying it right on my eyelid. Like as you can tell there's no color right there so I'm just going to be applying it right there and I wanted to get a brush that was kind of harder at first just so that I could really apply the eyeshadow where I wanted it. I didn't want a fluffy brush because I didn't want it flying everywhere. Because the neon pink, since it's really dark, it can't take over the whole look. So, yeah. Now, going back in with my Smashbox color, I'm going to be going in with all those colors. I'm just going to be mixing them all together with the colors that we used previously. And I'm just going to be applying those right underneath my waterline. The only color I did not reapply to the bottom was the neon pink that we applied last on the eyelid. Just because... I don't want to look sick and neon pink underneath your eyelid just kind of reminds me of like zombie-ish. So yeah, we want to look pretty, not dead. So now I'm going in with that really pretty white color. It's called Techno and I really love this color for the inner corner just because it's not super white. It almost has like a soft baby pink undertone to it. So it's perfect. And now I'm just applying my eyeliner. And this eyeliner is from e.l.f. and is actually one of my favorites. It works super good and super so, so easy to apply. I also applied some eyeliner on my waterline with a regular just black pencil. And I'm just prepping my lashes now. And I'm going to be applying these falsies. These are from Dezo, that little Japanese store I've mentioned. I love it. And I think it's in the number 802. And they're only like $1.50 for three pairs. So yeah, definitely worth it. And now we are going to be moving on to our lips. And I'm just going to be wiping off the, tra the transition. <laughs> I'm just going to be wiping off the foundation. Because like I said, I don't want my lips getting all cakey. So I like them to look nice and soft. And first off, I'm going to be outlining them with my Jordana lip pencil in the color Cherry. And since my lips are pretty small, I really do like outlining them. It really does a huge difference in my whole makeup look. So if you have small lips, make sure you outline them because it works. 
and then I'm going to be topping it off with Amplified from MAC and I really like this color it's super pretty and then I applied this lip gloss from Maybelline in the color Caviar to my lips just to give it a nice glossy glow and yeah this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you guys next time bye